All right, guys, normally when I do these intros in the car, it's because we're here super early and the sun hasn't come up yet. But today, we're here at 11.15 p.m., and we're going to be fishing the surf tonight. And for those of you who do striped bass fishing, you'll know that night fishing can be very effective when the conditions line up correctly. And I think we might have that today. We got pretty low swell, low wind, high tide just passed maybe about 15 minutes ago. We're heading towards the downhill, and... Uh, We'll see, tonight might be the night we connect on some striper. Now I'm gonna apologize now in advance because filming at night is definitely not the easiest and for those of you who are experienced filmers, I'm sure you have some tricks up your sleeve, but for me, I'm not the most experienced filmer. And uh, yeah, I do have a GoPro light. There we go. I do have this GoPro light. And I'll leave it linked in the description below if you wanna check it out. And it does, it's pretty bright, so it does a pretty good job at lighting up the area. But in general, filming at night is, is pretty tough. So uh, we're going to see if we can make it happen tonight. And hopefully this light will, you know, light up the area well enough so that you guys can see what's going on as well as I can. So don't want to talk too much. Like I said, high tide already passed, so we got to get out there and start fishing. All right, guys, we're making our way out to the beach here. We're going to start off throwing this SP minnow. And uh, I'm going to turn off the camera, it's pretty much dark and not much to see, so hopefully we can cut right to our line scream, or our drag screaming fish right about now. Here we go, fish on. Well, not a line screamer, but it is a fish, first one of the night. Yeah, that's not a bad one. That one came in pretty easy, surprisingly. There he is right there. Hey, that's a respectable fish. Probably about 22, probably about 22 inches. There you go, there's our first fish. No skunk today. I think we'll keep this guy. This is a good eating size. That SP minnow right there, same exact lure that I uh, caught my last striped bass on in my last striped bass video, the catch and cook that I did. Same lure. Really nice stripes on this guy, real clean, straight down the center. Alright, it's about 12.15, I've been casting for about an hour. That was our first hit, so hopefully the bite's just starting to heat up. Alright guys, we got a good one on here. Oh no no no, just, dang it, just came off. That was a good one. That just had a bite, it was strip and drag for about three seconds, and it just came off. Check our hooks and everything. Yeah, everything looks good, must have just came off. Dang. Actually, the cast before that, I had another bite. So I'm pretty sure a school of fish is in right here. We'll see if we can get another one here on the next cast. Okay, that was a good one too. Definitely bigger than that first fish. Dang, that was a good one right there. Well, keep casting, hopefully we can get another one. That was definitely a good fish. guys unfortunately we didn't get any more actually we did get one more little bump right before we left but nothing else that we hooked up so unfortunately the big one got away today and uh, we did manage to catch one smaller one about 24 inches or so but uh, gotta say that that big one that we lost that one's gonna be haunting me for a little while I'm not really sure how much the GoPro picked up but basically here's what went down so I had I threw out a cast, I had a bump, didn't hook the fish.
bitch. Threw out another cast, the very next cast, and boom, that's when that big one hit. He was on there for about five seconds, give or take, and he was just stripping line the whole time. And then right after that, I don't know what happened, he must have turned and the hook just popped out. Checked my bait, nothing was bent, nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with the uh, lure. It just came out, unfortunately. Did want to give a couple of tips if you do want to come out here and do some night fishing for striped bass. One, you definitely want to be organized. Now me, I only threw one different lure today, so I didn't have to worry too much. But if you do plan on throwing multiple lures, make sure your all your stuff is good to go. You're able to switch it out really easy. Uh, me, I do have a snap stool right at the end of my line, so if I do want to switch lures, I can just pop it on, pop the other one off real quick and easy, no problem. And uh, two, I would highly recommend not coming in shorts unless you are really warm-blooded or crazy like myself. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be cold if you go out in shorts. And uh, three, and probably the most important is, well, okay, hold on, there's two more, two important ones. Three, bring a headlamp, because you never know what kind of knots you're gonna need to tie, hooks, fish you're gonna need to unhook, or basically anything out there. And if you're out there stuck in the dark, trying to unhook a fish that's wiggling all over the place, you're liable to get a hook in the hand. So headlamp, really important. And then four, which is probably the most important, I'd put it at the top of the list. Don't go alone, go with a buddy, just because you never know what's gonna happen out there. It is the ocean, it is the surf. You could get hit by a sneaker wave. So uh, always best to come with a buddy uh, so you can watch each, have each other's backs. But other than that, I highly recommend giving it a shot. If, uh, if you're up for it, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but there's just something a little bit extra when you catch a striped bass in the dark at night in the surf. I mean, I like catching striped bass during the day. Really, anytime catching fish is nice, but it's just like something extra. I can't really describe it when you catch it at night. You get that hit, your lure just stops mid-retrieve. Yeah, I, I can't describe it. You just have to, you just have to feel it for yourself. So. Highly recommend it. Like I said today, unfortunately, the big one did get away. That one's gonna be haunting me for a little while, so expect more striped bass videos coming up soon. I can't imagine I'm gonna be able to go much more nights without fishing for that one again, so. Hard to say how big that one was, but I can assure you that that was, a, that was not the same size fish that the first one we caught. That one was a big fish. And, uh, yeah, that one's going to be haunting me. I'm going to have to come back out here and uh, fish for these fish again. So expect more striped bass night fishing videos coming up soon. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, like I said, I'll be out here again. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Hopefully the lighting wasn't too bad. And uh, we'll catch you next time.